following exercise is called the pelvic tilt. It's one of the basic uh, staples for people with low back pain. Uh, I like to do the pelvic tilt with my legs supported on the ball. Uh, I, with, with people with back pain, I don't like to keep my feet in the air because, uh, <clears throat> because if my abdominal muscles are not strong enough to hold my feet in this position, I'm putting additional stress on my back. So uh, to alleviate that problem, I can just lay my legs on the ball now that I'm taking the stress off my back. Normally now, at this point, you should have a tunnel underneath the belt line. You should be able to, someone should be able to slide their hand underneath your back at this point. And so what I'm trying to do with the pelvic tilt is tighten the muscles in my abdomen and push that tunnel down. If I had someone with their hand under my back, at this point when I push my, when I push my back down into the mat, I tighten my abdominal muscles, they should not be able to pull their hand out. One of the uh, tools that I think helps in learning this activity is to take a towel, uh, a small towel, and fold it up so that I can feel the weight, or feel the pressure of the towel against my back, and then push my back into the towel. And it helps me to learn the pelvic tilt. Many times people ask me when I'm demonstrating the pelvic tilt if I lift my head up. Well, if I lift my head up, I can talk to the person, but I can do the pelvic tilt very well with my head on the mat table. It's just that, so lifting my head up has nothing to do with the pelvic tilt. I, I lift it up if I'm talking or demonstrating, but you can do the pelvic tilt with your head on the mat table.